Tell me about the project, the box set. The project, the box set, is a box set essentially celebrating 50 years of my live performing. So we go back uh, all the way back to the earliest days, and we had numbers of boxes of uh, old reel-to-reel -reel and cassette and... Uh, and we just assembled them into what we thought was the best. And it was nice collecting, uh, certainly live performances right. in the bedrock of my career. So collecting all of these live performances was really um, a joy and a surprise to me. And the surprise to me yeah. was that my memory of how I was, uh, I... In listening back, I didn't realize that I was as good when I started out uh, uh, as I was. Yeah. I didn't think I was that good in my memory, but yeah. it's really interesting that uh, uh, in my earliest days, I was a very strong guitar player. Uh, and then uh, studied, studied voice, yeah, sure. uh, piano, uh, more guitar, and became uh, a much more rounded player by continuing to study sure. through my 20s. How far back does it go? What's the, what's the earliest recording on that set? So, uh, we're going to 1969. Um, uh, okay. It's early. This is before the first album, or when you promoting the first album? This is, this is before the first album. So you were playing where in those Small, days? Small, um, yeah. um, around uh, the... Around Cambridge. Cambridge, the Boston uh, area. Yeah, uh, Cambridge, right. Massachusetts, okay. and uh, just uh, finding, like the rest of us, finding sure. work where we can. And what's the newest, the most recent, other than last night? Um, yeah. The most recent studio project was right. a project that I did for an audiophile record company that I report to for called Chesky Records. Oh, sure, Dave and Chesky. Did, yeah, Dave it's a jazz label, Norman, mostly. Uh, uh, and I've done lots of records for them over the years. Uh, I've done four or five records right. for them. And uh, uh, I did a record a year and a half ago called Safe Home for uh, Chesky. Right, so when's the most recent live performance you have on the box set. Oh, oh yeah. a most recent yeah, no, live sure. performance in box set yeah. would be probably out of Eddie's Attic, out of Atlanta, uh, oh, two years ago. Okay. Uh, a little smattering. Of right. Yeah. And talk about the book and the DVD that's in this set. Oh, well, there's a DVD the, of, of, uh, of... Just of, of performances? Documentary. Oh. No. A part of the performance, but a documentary on me in the class that I teach at the Berkeley College right. of Music called Stage Performance. Right. And then there's a booklet just filled with um, uh, photographs oh, right. and anecdotes of uh, drunkenness and cruelty, right. not so, for your reading enjoyment. Just um, yeah, well, sure. uh, observations and uh, music. So. What's your favorite track on the album? I have no conceivable idea okay. what my favorite is. Uh, I. I have to say, there's a song that I used to love that Ray Charles did called Hallelujah, I Love Her So. Sure. Let me tell you about it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Sure. And on the record, it's really good. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that is surprisingly tuneful and energetic. Right. I know it's, it's trying to pick your favorite child. <laughs> I don't have many children you have, but... Uh, do you have a favorite song of the ones you've recorded over all these years? Not oh, necessarily the big uh, seller, but you what's know, your... You know, it, it changes. There are some songs that I've written that are very compelling to me. Uh, Call Me Carolina. I wrote a song called Walk Until It's Heaven. And that's a very, very fine song. Um, one of my early songs, Good Friends, is a very fine piece of songwriting, Lost in the Love of You, right. I Can't Get Back Home Again, um, uh, uh, Answer My Prayer, uh, With You I Belong. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that I've written that's, if I may, 
it's at a very high level of quality. Well, your performance the other night on the main stage was just, to me, I was going to mention it to you yesterday, it was almost like you were the keynote speaker at the conference because it, it ripped more than just the performance, it talked about music and performing and there's all these Again, first timers. Here at the folk alliance. Yeah, we're yeah, not, sure. Yeah. We're not here with an audience. No. We are here with professionals from all directions. And it was, uh, yes, it was designed to be basically a keynote speech that yeah. speaks about why we are here and what our responsibility, because everybody in this place, and I mean right. everybody, is financed by an audience. Sure. And there and these are discretionary dollars that this audience is spending and we are under responsibility to get them to spend those discretionary dollars on us and compete favorably for all the other people who want them to spend discretionary dollars on them. Right. And you need to understand that and go after it like a pit bull. In uh, in your teaching, uh, you're teaching guitar and songwriting, or no, no, no. What, what? I teach a course called stage performance. That's right. Yep. How right. do you get on stage, Steve? How do you get right. an audience to receive enough value from you that they will finance your vision for the rest of your life? And that's what we're talking about. Right. And how many courses do you teach, or? One. One. Stage okay. performance. And how long have you been doing it? 30 years. Wow. That's a, that's a long time. That's a long time. Just curious, personally-wise, how many children do you have? Or I have no children.